Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Cynthia and today's video is all about going from this gorgeous hot mess to this gorgeous hot mess. So the first thing I did was put on concealer. I used Maybelline's Master Concealer in shade medium. I placed it on my under eyes and as a primer for my lids. Then I blended it out with my fingers. And then I added some on my nose and on my upper lip. I don't really use foundation, so this is all I have for my face. Oh, and that is not concealer that I'm putting on my lips. It's actually Carmex because I always have dry chapped lips. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be working from is the Morphe 350 palette. I love the colors on this palette and they're super soft on the skin. They blend super well and they are very pigmented and look really good. The first color I'm going to grab is on the top right corner called Extra. I'm taking a blending brush and putting a bunch of that stuff in the crease of my eyes and above that. The next color I'm grabbing is the color Coco in the center of the palette and using a crease brush to blend it into my crease, the outer corner of my lid and my lower lid as well. Next, I took a flat brush, packed on a lot of the color Pop, and put it on the inner corner of my lids and brought it towards the middle of my eyelids. And of course, I wanted to make this super difficult for you guys, so I hid my face while doing this. Just kidding, I'm just not good at this. I believe I'm just pulling it out further into the middle of my lids. Ah uh, yes, there goes my left eye peeking out so you guys can see it. All right. Next, I took both the colors Cocoa and Slight and blended that further into my crease, the outer corners, and under my lids. The color on the top of my eyelid needed to be blended out a little more, so, um, so I took more of the color Extra and Sting and blended it further into the top of my eyelid. Then I took more of Pop on the flat brush and brought it further up on my eyelid. And then I placed it on the inner part of my lower lid. To line my eyes, I used Maybelline's Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. I did a short wing on the corners of my eyelids. Then I curled my eyelashes. For my eyebrows, I use the NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil in the color Ash Brown. All I do is lightly line my eyebrows, fill in some of the bald spots, and take the brush on the end to blend it out. So here I am again curling my eyelashes. My intention was to put on false lashes, but as I was taking it off the packaging, one of the eyelashes broke, so I just put on mascara. To contour my face, I used the Master Bronze by Maybelline with a sculpting face brush by e.l.f. And now I'm realizing that all my products are either Maybelline or e.l.f. So I just took the two darkest colors on the Master Bronzer and blended those in this part of my face where there's like no bone and then on my nose and around my face. Oh, this is not Maybelline or e.l.f. 
it's tart and it's blush. Um, the color I'm using is Prize. This little thingy is part of the nine ways to shine holiday gift thing. So I took my e.l.f. blush brush and blended that on the apples of my cheeks and into my temples. Last, I took the highlight from the Master Bronzer palette and put that on the top of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and below my brow and in my cupid's bow. And that is it for my face. Now, please indulge th this awkward face looking. Okay, I think that's enough. The next thing is my hair. I slept in French braids the night before and wore them pretty much all day. So here I am taking it out. For my hair, I'm using a straightener to do some like messy, fun waves. All I did was section out my hair, take about one inch chunks, clamped it, slid it up, let go, and then clamped it where I left off and slid down. Then stopped about an inch before the tips of my hair. Um, I did that pretty much all around my head. Something important to know is that I bend it up at the roots so that I can give my hair a little more volume. And guys, don't worry too much about making it perfect because the whole point is to have messy, wavy hair. Once I was done with my whole head, I just put some hairspray in it and shushed it a little bit, scrunched it up a little bit with my hands and then that was kind of it. On the way to Target, I picked up this Revlon lipstick in the color 525 Wine With Everything and this cute headband just to complete my look. And this is my complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe. And just let me know what other makeup tutorials you're looking for in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.